Well, I'm going to show you the um, the weighing machine that I found in a book by Mary Baratta Lawton, which I think is a completely amazing because I find that um, young children have a real problem with with the, with scales, and uh, I've observed it several times where they've put something really heavy in one side, and the scale weight, you know it's gone down, and they've put something in this side to make it go down as much as this. Then you put something in this side, and uh, and it's light. Do you see what I mean? They find it, I think they find it quite a hard a concept, concept to mm. understand. And this idea, I thought, oh, this looked good. And what she does is, uh, it's a spring balance. So your, your carton needs to be cut to about there. Say the top of that first bit of writing. So if you, if you cut your cartons off and they need a hole in each side, and they're going to thread some string around it so you can end up with a little basket that hangs up. Just one basket. Well, you, that's the nice thing about it. See, with a set of, of scales, you only, you've only got two pans to measure in, haven't you? Yeah. You only compare two things. We can have as many of these as you like. You see? Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I usually start with one. So it doesn't work on the, you put something in one side no, and one side no. goes up. No. Oh, it, so I they're all it, separate. Yes. <laughs> these, the reason I think um, these are good is because you can actually, these will hold liquid. And ah, sand, little, aren't they? Yeah. and that's mm. something. So and they are really strong. Yeah. The yeah. balances are a bit. You yeah. can't fit much. Yeah, in them. So and also, you know, you can make them as many as you like. They're really dead cheap. That's that's brilliant. And now you want a hole, not too far near the top. A hole punch is brilliant, but we have that a compass. Four in one in each side. Yeah, because you're going to make like a basket, so that your your basket to hold your weight will be like the four bits of string coming up and tied and then they're going to put a rubber band on the top oh, right, and it's okay. going to stretch down with the weight of the thing you put in it. The first time I made them, I, I tied the string too low down here, I couldn't get the orange in. Four so separate bits of string. You could do like one and then two, couldn't you, and yeah. then tie them at the top. Is that long enough? Yeah, that's great, that's great. When I've done this with kids, I've made one and I've just I've attached it and I've just um, put it by the rug and we've all sat down and we've, I've just had it hanging there and I've just put something in it. Yeah, right. And then they have actually, some kids have made their own, and that's fine. Yeah. Oh, do you find reception can make? Them? You two have made these. Right. They probably could do it if you put that out. Yeah. And the whole punch, if you assist, like, oh, yeah. where do you go home? But I don't think it really matters if they're already made because the important thing is that they get to use them, it's I think. Yeah. yeah. The, the, this woman, Mary Bretta Lawton, she's an American kindergarten teacher in the 1950s, 1960s. Mm. They've got some fantastic ideas in there. Now, you're ready for your rubber band. Now, do you mind if I attach your rubber band up? No, please? of course not. I'm going to choose that really thin one, actually. Oh, right. Well, you're ready now, look, see? You're ready. Oh. You see, the first the first thing is just to sort of, when, you, when I'm with the kids, we've just done, done that. And we just said, or oh, should we put something in it and see what happens? Right, so I'll hold on to it. You stick the orange in the weighing basket and see what happens. Hmm. See, maybe that's quite oh. fab. You see, now we haven't got a huge selection of fruit, but it's really nice to have some different sized fruit because, of course, they. What I find, you might find something completely different, is they want to put the big. They want to put the biggest fruit in there. Because they think the biggest is heavy. And they want to get it down. They want to get the. Thing to you know to, to really go down, and the mistake I made first was I put really thick bands on here because I thought it would be stronger, but in fact it doesn't move very far. And what they wanted to do is they want to you want them to see it see really the drop movement. as the weight goes in there. So you could have like a whole row of them. Yeah, put I have different had that. Things. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Okay. And if the thing falls off the board, you just stick another bit of tape up there. Which is, do you want to put your orange in now? Oh no! Before you put your orange in, would you like to guess? Estimate where you think it will drop to. Uh, yeah. Do you want to put that? Yes. <laughs> and if you've got it on the board, then you can apply it. Can you? Mm. But that's just, we're sort of like two. We're like a week after we've been playing with it. I don't think you need the recording straight away. Yeah. Just start the note. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Go on then. Ooh, oh, she's good. good isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Now, I, I don't really do the recording for quite a bit, but it's such a nice thing to do. And it's quite easy to like, say, oh, well, I just have to remember that's the orange, so I'll just put an O there for orange. So, I mean, you can sort of make it as easy as that. We'll take this out, shall we? Ooh, what's going to happen if I take it out? You know, whoop. Mm. What do you want to try now? Yeah. <laughs> you want to make an estimate? Mm. Above Which or thing? below the orange? Should we go for below? Okay. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Oh, 
we go. Mm. Just put variety of things in from the yeah, classroom, yeah. couldn't you? <laughs> just to get them to find what's lighter or heavy. Yeah, they can find things in the classroom, yeah. aren't they? And just weigh them with their own weight. small enough to go in. I like how it's made of like homemade, like natural like things around the house sort of thing. They've seen before. I was just thinking as well, just going up the keys from foundation to key stage one. If you drew on the starter, the start, the starting point, you could then measure all the different ones mm. and almost make a bar chart. Key Even which, going up into key mm. stage two, then you've got your data handling using mm. all of yeah, these. And it's a lovely it. idea of how to do it. And what's nice is that uh, about measuring the bottom, that does actually come up in conversation. As soon as you start having things that don't move very much, they will reach the point where they want to make a mark where it started. And of course, and you can then see where it's they'll say, yeah. somebody will say, mark where it starts, or you can say, oh, shall we mark where it starts? And the other reason I like them is that they're actually not very accurate. And I think that that's quite good because you have this huge discussion about, you end up with a massive discussion about accuracy with very young children. Uh, because in fact, if you put the same, if you put the same pair in, or the same orange, sometimes it doesn't go to, doesn't go to the same place. Especially if you've, you've got a range yeah. of them, they're not all exactly no, the same. No, no. So then after Especially that, would you move on to using some more accurate way in Well, yes, I think they have to learn how to use yeah. balances. So but this could just be used as a starter, really. So this could be used at the beginning to introduce it. So. Right? And I've used it with older children when we've tried, when they've been struggling with balances. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't think children understand mm. to balance that even if that makes yeah. sense. And in fact, the thing, when you put the weight in, that it goes down, and then you put the other weight in, then that weight goes up again. Mm. So I think it is quite hard. And you can't compare, it's very difficult to compare more than two weights, mm. isn't it? And of course the nice thing is if you want to put the, I put, I put the other ones on there, um, first of all they stick them all up and they're all over the place. You see there's one up here, one mm. <laughs> down here like yeah. this. And I don't really say anything then, and we stop with them. And then, then it gradually they reach the decision that actually they all have to start in the same place in mm. order for it to be a fair comparison. Yeah. And that won't really happen perhaps at reception, but year one, year two, that's yeah. getting more... You could make some nice like displays and things like go like wall them all up so you could see like just by looking like oh that I don't know that apple is way much more heavier mm. than that's got rice a bit of rice in or mm. something. Yes. So if you have like loads of them, and I bet this. When you come in tomorrow, perhaps you'll be able to find something that's heavier than mm. our orange. Well, it's all everyday objects as well. Mm. I don't really relate to that. Don't Do you think you'd use it? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.